Hello, this is Logan Murphy again, and for this video, we're going to learn how to preserve this value, which we're going to use loops and arrays to do. Okay, so, back to the file we've been working on this whole time. We're going to create an array, we're going to call it signs. Okay, so this is an array. Pretty much an array is just a bunch of items that are grouped together in one container. And all the items are going to be strings. So whenever we use these quotes, we mean uh, in computer science we call this a string. Um, I refer to it as, I guess, words. It's pretty much whenever you're talking to someone, use quotes, but um, I'm kind of going to be talking to the computer with these quotes. And this is going to be an array of our different signs, plus, minus, multiply, divide, and the empty option. So this is just a bunch of items in one collection, and the beauty of an array is you're able to access different items from it. So, to do that, we use brackets, and we give it an index to access. And I'm just going to put that in a comma for now. But if I were to say sign sub zero, I would get this empty quote, this empty string from the array. So this is equivalent to the empty string right now. If I wanted to get, if I wanted to get the slash character, which is this one, we would have to count in. This is zero, this is one, two, three, four. So four is a slash character. Okay, so index, uh, arrays, indices start at zero, and the highest index is the number of items minus one, and that's just because we start at zero. So this is index 0, this is index 1, this is index 2, this is index 3, and this is index 4. Okay. Now we have all these options. We don't want to use that code anymore. So we're going to generate it using PHP. So. We did arrays, now we're doing loops. So, whenever you're doing a loop, you're going to need an iterator, which we will call i, and we'll start it at zero. So this, we can call it an iterator, we call it the index. This just tells us where we are in the loop. Every loop needs to know where it's at, and every loop needs to know where it's at. Right? Don't lose track of where you're at in your loop. So, the loop that we use is called a while loop. And it kind of looks like an if, except we use the word while. The difference between while and if, a while will loop over and over again, and the if will not. It's pretty much the same story. We're going to put some kind of test here, and we want to make sure that where we're at, so i is really telling us what index we're at. In the array. And we want to make sure that the index that we're at in the array is not higher than the index, the highest index in the array. So we need to make sure that i, which is where we're at, is less than the count of the array, which is 5. So as so long as i it, it, the, is less than 5, we can do this loop. And once we do the loop, we go to the next index in the array. We go to the next thing, next item. Just about every loop you're, you're going to deal with will have something that looks like this. You're going to have something that changes. 
is less than something that doesn't. Okay, so i is changing. i plus plus means increase i by one. So i is zero. We go into this loop. i plus plus i is one. And when we're at the end of the loop, we go back to the top of the loop, and we go into the loop again, because the count of signs is five. There's five items in this array. One, two, three, four, five. So long as one is less than five, we'll do the loop again. I plus plus, I is two. We're at the end of the loop, we'll go back to the beginning. Is two less than five? Yes it is. So we'll go into the loop. I plus plus, I is three. We'll go back up. Is three less than four? Yes it is. So we'll go back in. Or actually five, sorry. Is three less than five? Yes it is. We'll do it again. I plus plus, I is four. We go back to the top. Is four less than five? Yes it is. And so and so on until I is five. Is five less than five? No it's not. And we never go outside of the bounds of this array. So once we got to five, five is less than five, we left this array and we didn't go out of the bounds of the array. Okay. So what you want to do is get the next item from the array. And you do that using bracket notation and you use the index that we're at. This is the whole reason that we have i. So i tells us where we're at in the array. So that's what we should get from the array. The ith thing. Okay, so we're going to echo the option tag, echo the sign that we're at, echo the closing option tag. And see what happens. So the options are being generated and we can tell that because now this is really ugly looking. It's all in one line, uh, or at least it would be if uh, the browser window wasn't so short or so thin. So there's the empty option. So let's look at what really happens here. When we first we st stop doing HTML right here and we start doing PHP code, we set i equal to zero. So let's pretend this is a memory bank. I'm going to put comments to represent our memory bank, and we have i as zero right now. Okay. And we're doing this first line of code. We just did this first line of code and then we do a while loop okay so also in memory is this array okay and we're going to ask what is the count of this array that's five so just put that in a comment so that we don't forget that the size of the array is five so we do a test what's i i is zero. Is zero less than five? If that's true, we do. s equals sine sub i. So now we have this new variable called s. And that stores signs. So we need to look at this in memory. i, zero. So the zero thing. So right now, it's the empty string. Next, we echo option. So right now, we're right here, echoing option. Then we echo s, which is the empty string. We're echoing nothing. You see that there's nothing here. And then we echo the closing option, which is right here. Then we do i++. Plus plus. i becomes 1. Okay, that's the only thing that changes in memory for now. And we're at the end of the loop. We go back to the top. Is 1 less than 5? Yes, it is. So we do the loop. s becomes sine sub 1. So signs, the first index, 0, 1, 
plus sign. Okay. Now we do this line of code. Echo option. And you see that we have the tag option here. Then we echo S. S is the plus sign, and we have the plus sign here. Echo close option. And we have our close option. And this will happen over and over again for plus or for minus for multiply for divide until we're done but right now the way we have it we don't preserve our value so sometimes something is selected sometimes it's not so since it's sometimes we have to use an if if is for when things happen sometimes the easiest way to do this is get rid of this uh, greater than sign and have an if condition and if the sign that we're looking at is equal to the sign that the user gave us then we're going to echo select it and then we'll echo closing of this tag let's see what that looks like first I'm going to submit star and see that it works. So star is still there. I'm going to view the page source. When we look at the page source, when we get to the option that has star, it has selected. Now selected is a special attribute where if the tag, the option tag has this attribute, it becomes the selected option. So that's why star becomes selected. And we print that if the sign that the person gave us is the same as the sign we were looking at. So let's change our, let's change our option here and see how it generates the same thing for the plus sign. So we'll view the page source again, scroll down, and we'll do this process again. So i is 0, is 0 less than 5, yes it is, s equals sign sub 0, which is the empty string, we'll echo option, so so far all that we've echoed is this much, sorry, that much, up to the closing, or the greater than sign is s equal to sign so I haven't been writing this but sign in this instance in this running of the program I have plus as the sign because when I pressed submit plus was here so the name of this input is sign sign was posted and the post was stored in the variable called sign so sign has plus in it right now. So is s, which is empty string, equal to sign, which is plus? And the answer is no. So you don't print the word selected. And you see that the word selected is not printed over here. Now we print the, the greater than sign, which is right here. Then you print s. s is the empty string, so you print nothing. And then you print the closing option, which is right here. Then we increase i by 1. And we're at the end of our loop. Go back up. Is 1 less than 5? Yes, it is. Sign sub i. Sign sub 1. Sign sub 1 is plus. So s is plus for this line of code. Now we echo option. This much is s plus equal to sign plus. Yes, it is. So we echo space selected. So here's the space selected. Then we echo the greater than sign. Then we echo S, which is the plus sign. Then we echo option, which is the closing option tag. So that's using a for loop and if also and arrays in order to make a persistent select or combo box. I'm Logan Murphy, and I'll see you next video.